right? We finally got ourselves a pike. I've got a little bit of blood on my finger from a hook nick, so don't worry about that. Um, <clears throat> now this one's taken the hooks well in, so it's a good example of how to unhook a pike and hold it. So first of all, you've got to look at the pike and work out where the hooks have gone in. Um, and they've gone in on this side, so I really want to go in with my hand the other side. So turn her over and like I said to you earlier today, let's get her, first of all, we get her straight. You want to straddle the pike and get her nice and safe upside down. So I'm going to put my hand in, let's show you first of all how to do that. So here's the gill, that's the gill, and you want to slide your hand inside that gill uh, and underneath there are the gill rakers, if you can see that. I'm going to run my hand down the side of those of the gill away from the gill rake so I've gone in gone to the front I've got a nice and tight look between my knees open the mouth and if you look down the mouth you can see the hooks they're quite well down so I've got to do a bit of work here so we've got to get that first hook out Let's turn the forceps around there's one of the hooks that's out it's hanging loose but it's out look the other one is a lot further down. Can you see that? Because I've got a really good grip on her. Can you see where I've got her? Because now I'm away from her teeth. Can you see that? I've got to go right down in there and get that bottom hook and get it out like that. See that? Unhooked. So we lift that out the way, right out the way. And that's how you unhook a pike. So, and holding them is the same. So I'll just turn her around. Let's go this way quite a nice fish if they flap just cover them up like pike keep them covered you know I've got the this is my trough so I can put the lid over if I need to but uh, so we're going to picking her up so you can have a look at her and so to, to hold a pike safely and securely you need to run your hand up inside the gills again to that front part of the mouth she's the lively one this one <laughs> just keep her calm a minute run my hand up under the gill up in there like that to the front where that lumpy that lump is there where my thumb is and run your hand to there and you can grab them nice and tight see where my thumb is look right against the side of that lump i've got uh, i've gripped her there's my fingers i've gripped her nice and tight and you can pick her up i've got her nice and tight that's how to hold a pipe she goes i've got her i've still got her look i've still got her this is what happens they jump you've still got her she doesn't hit the floor nice and tight and that's the best way of holding a pike and that one's probably about it's probably 10 pound I would think um, sometimes you may need to do from the other side you know if the hook's gone in the other side so you flip her over I can do the same thing the other side hand under the gill up to the front jaw pick her up nice and tight got a nice and tight look got a nice firm hold of her